What's up guys, Sean here. Today I am really excited to do a special unboxing with you guys. This right here was sent to me from Kunwu Knives. I reached out to them on Instagram and asked them if they worked with any channels, had any type of affiliate programs, any loaner knives that or you know review samples that they passed around to different channels and um, I was told to send them an email. Next thing I know, they sent me a tracking number and an invoice saying uh, that this knife was a gift to me. They did not give me any type of instructions or stipulations. This is just going to be an unboxing and first impressions. But first off, let me give a big thank you to Kung Lu Knives. This is the first knife company that I have personally reached out to and then they pretty much without has actually no that's that's not true um jacob creates i messaged him telling him that i was interested in checking out his stuff he was the first person and it's actually quite ironic because his knife is actually one of the knives that i'm carrying today take it off my belt jacob creates chickadee how fitting If you are intrigued by this little guy right here, go check out my review on this. Really cool knife. And another thank you to Jacob. And then I'm carrying another knife that was gifted to me. Of course, I customized it and everything, but this was sent to me from a, an amazing supporter of the channel named Chris. Um, 15V Manix 2. My all-time favorite knife at the moment. Woo! super special so i wasn't even thinking about that before i started rolling this video but um yeah i'm super grateful and instead of continuing to ramble let's see what we have going on here so um i did not choose the knife model or anything uh, they simply said they would send me something good and that they don't make junk quote for quote so this is the Tao Tao Compact. Tao or Tao Compact. As you can see, I have not been into it yet. I waited to um, share this experience with you guys. So this is going to be 100% honest, authentic first impressions as always. Very nice box. Ooh, nice magnetic. I love those magnetic snaps. Okay. That's cool. Get a nice little cloth pouch. Crumbler knives. Certificate of authenticity. Nice microfiber. These are always handy, especially for my camera lenses. And let's see what we have here. So have a wire clip in here and a Torx driver. Looks like maybe a T10 and a T8, or a T10 and T6. Then getting straight into the good stuff. Wow, wow, wow. Holy cow. That is freaking beautiful. LMAX blade steel. Nice orange peel texture and then some micro milling. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. 
All right, let's see. Perfectly centered. Oh, nice kind of geared back spacer with a little spot for a lanyard. Not a lanyard pin, but that is really cool. And look at this beautiful pivot. Looks like a tie mask pivot collar and a beautiful milled captured pivot. Conway Knives logo milled in right there. I think that is very, um, it's a very classy and stylish, um, I guess, way of doing your billboarding or branding. It, it's not, you know, it's not too much. Uh, it's just kind of straight to the point and it, it looks good. I'm a fan. Uh, I'm a fan of, you know, simple logo designs that are, you know, kind of clean and simple and cool looking. Um, that those are just, you know, the most attractive to me. And I think it looks perfectly fine right there. Um, no issues with that being right there. I don't think it takes away from the knife in any way. And look at all this beautiful micro milling. Super, super cool. All right, go ahead and give her a flick. Damn. Okay, so I I really like the traditional flipper tab deployment. I'll have to work on that front flipper. Beautiful belt satin finish. Nice symmetrical edge bevels. Nice and even and symmetrical. Gives you plenty of distance to clear that um, plunge grind. So, plenty of sharpening life. You feel this edge. Not super sticky, but it is sharp. Let me see. You can hear that shaving some of those hairs. Um, wow. Whoa. Snappy little guy. Really nice detent. Oh, I like that. Okay, that front flipper is sweet. And very easy access to the lock bar, which they they did a really good job with this because it's not it's not like obviously raised up above the show side, but it is super easy to get onto and disengage. And that hits your thumb right there. So blade will not swing down on you until you get your hand out of the way and you are already clear of that detent. So no double clutching. Let me see if I can get my finger on there and Okay. So I cannot get my finger on there to reverse flick it. But maybe once I um, clean off any type of oil or anything from the factory, I may be able to. And might even be a good candidate for a spidey hole. Not sure. I'll have to check into that, but some nice well spaced out jimping not too sharp feels nice and grippy then this keeps my finger locked in right there perfect size uh, get all four fingers on there comfortably nice and locked in 
Can't wait to do some cutting with this and play around with it a little bit more and carry it, all that good stuff. So that is about all I have to say about it so far. Um, I, I don't want to, you know, continue to analyze it and spoil the review or anything. And plus, I want to have some time with it to really get to know it and, you know, get to understand and appreciate all the, you know, special little details of this knife. So, once again, huge shout out to Kunwoo Knives. Very grateful that you guys gifted this knife to me. It means so much. And uh, I'm sure my, you know, viewers will be very appreciative as well. Because it gives me something cool to uh, do content on for the channel. So, very cool. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. Stay tuned. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.